stories about water and urban places, this is ID Anthro. Hey everyone, and welcome back to ID Anthro. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about the most important tool that I take with me when inspecting bioretention systems. Why am I gonna tell you about that today? I'm gonna to tell you about that today because this morning, I've been getting my gear ready because tomorrow I'm going out to do some bioretention condition inspections for a local government in Southeast Queensland. And as I was doing that, I found this in the set of drawers behind me. This is a ball of clay. And for me, it, uh, it tells a story. It tells the story of the day that I realized that you really need to look deeply and not superficially. When you're trying to figure out how any system, but for me it was bioretention systems at the time, but any natural or pseudo natural system, when you're looking at it in the real world and trying to figure out what's going on, you need to look at it deeply and thoughtfully and not just superficially with what you see first. I'll tell you that story in a minute, but let's first talk about the tool. The tool is simply a trowel. And the reason is, the reason this is most important, the reason it's not like, the reason the tool's not a camera or a pit lifter or, you know, a, I don't know, some kind of implement for, for measuring plant health. The reason that the trowel is the most important tool in a bioretention system, the more so, more important than a PVC tube and water for doing infiltration testing, is because so much of what happens in a bioretention system happens beneath the surface. And a trowel allows you to get in there and have a look. Now, I know, you can kick the surface off a little bit with your, uh, with your shoes, you have a little dig with your hands, but let's be honest, if you're just stopping by a system and you're trying to keep kind of clean, you're really not going to want to go digging around with your hands. But if you've got a trowel, you can get in there and have a look. And a perfect example of this is a system I went to just the other day, where, and in fact this was in a really recent episode, where I turned up on site, and in this case I had been here previously. But if I hadn't been here previously, it would have really paid to have a trowel with me. Because then, because you rock up on the side of this site, and what you're going to see is a lot of bare filter media and not a lot of plants. But besides that, like, it doesn't look too wrong. It doesn't look like there's a big story and a big context here. But in fact, I knew, because I've been to this site before, I knew that it had changed dramatically since last time that I saw it and that I needed to go digging to have a look. But if you have a trowel with you, then any site that you turn up to that looks fine and normal, it's really easy to go dig out a little bit, just check there's nothing funny going on. Because in this, the case of this particular site, this site had had filter media laid ages ago. The crust, the, the top had developed a sediment crust on it from sediment from nearby house building sites. Some of the vegetation had died. Anyway, someone had come back and cleared off that crust, replaced some fresh filter media on top and replanted at really low densities. And of course, what you didn't know unless you dug in it was that some of the original filter media, which was clearly from a different supplier and clearly from a different mix, if for no other reason than the colour was completely different, was under there. But if you hadn't had a dig, you wouldn't have known. And so why did I learn this? Why? What was the story from this piece of clay, literally this piece of clay, that taught me the importance of doing this? So this goes back to, I must have been in like my second year in the industry. I was definitely still working at Logan City Council. And at this point in time, the... Operational Works technical officers used to sometimes come to me when they were doing like an on or off maintenance inspection on a bioretention system and ask me to come out and have a look just to cast my eye over it because these things were fairly new to council still at that point and it was good to have a couple of people kind of look at it because we were all still learning at that point. Now this particular system, I had previously gone out and looked at it and we'd known it was like ponding water, there was lots of typha in it. It clearly wasn't functioning as a bioretention system. It was also pretty low in the landscape. I had some questions about whether, like where the under drainage pipes actually went to, right? Anyway, we went out to this site because it was an off maintenance inspection. And we turned up on site and it had been cleaned out. There was beautiful new filter media laid. Uh, there were lots of plants in it. The system looked really healthy. Admittedly, the plants were only really young. So, I mean, even if everything had been otherwise been fine with this system. What should have happened at this point is we should have been saying to the developer, okay, that's cool, but you still need to establish the plants more to prove to us that this thing works because they'd clearly just planted them. Lots of density, lots of lovely new plants, but they hadn't had any time to establish, right? That's what should have happened. But we didn't need to go there. 
because what happened was we were like, ha, ah, this looks really cool. And I can't remember whether we had a trowel with us. We probably did. We probably already was carrying one around at that point, but this was the moment where it struck home just how important it was. Because without it, we could have made a really big mistake. We're just like, huh, let's just dig. It dug in, filter media felt great, got in like 100 mils and hit something. Hit, <clears throat> not sure, hit something tough. So we, ex we dug out a little bit and it turned out that the site had never been built in the first instance. So when I'd seen it the first time around, clogged up, ponded with water. In fact, all they dug was a hole in the ground down to the surface level of what should have been the bioretention system and never excavated down to through the filter media or where the filter media and the transition layer and the gravel and the under drainage pipes need to be. They just left it as the in situ soil and no wonder it had you know, ponded water because it was just clay in situ soil. Come off maintenance. What they done, <laughs> I cannot believe someone did this. Okay, I am hypothesizing about what had happened in the first instance because I wasn't 100% sure. But what we found was we dug through the first 100 mils and we just hit clay. And all that happened, regardless of whether they did excavate a deeper hole or not, what it was was 100 mils of filter media on top and clayey, gunky rubbish beneath it. Someone was trying to pull a Swifty. And this little ball of clay, this is a ball of clay that I rolled nearly seven years ago now and it has sat on my desk for a couple of years, it sat in drawers, it's been moved through several different office changes over time, it's sat in that drawer behind me for at least two years now getting beaten around and it's still a ball of clay. There's absolutely no way that system was ever going to drain and the developer was clearly trying to pull a Swifty over council and we found it because we were able to dig around in the system and that's why for me carrying a trowel is so important because it's so easy just to be like, I know everything looks fine, but dig a quick hole, dig, dig. Oh yeah, okay, it looks pretty good. And that's it, that's the story. Trowels, the most important tool you can take with you. They're also really useful because you can just leave them in your car, right? Leave them with your PPE stuff, whatever else you carry in your car anyway. Leave a random trowel. In fact, leave it in your personal car so when you're like out with the family and you decide to divert to a bioretention system to have a look, so you got the trowel then, just carry it with you all the time. It is the most useful tool. Sweet, thank you for tuning in. Enjoy digging in bioretention systems, and we'll see you next time. Before you go, our best episodes come from your questions. This knowledge base, these discussions that our IDN throws improve with your contribution. So if there's a topic, an idea, a concept that you would like us to explore, come and ask us. You know where to find us. www.idanthro.com slash contact. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and that place you get your good podcasts from. You know where to find us. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you soon.